Let's go into the store. price of the cabbage has gone up it was 67 cents and it's not very big look at that look how it looks so the fruit already cut this container is seven dollars and 62 cents this one is $8.97. And then this one with the mixed fruit is $10.97. Cut up your own fruit, guys. Save a little bit of money. Let me know in the comments, do y'all eat chitterlings? I know they chitlins, but I'm just reading it how it <laughs> says right here. Y'all, they $29. I don't eat these, but I, I know my mama used to buy these red buckets. I remember these red buckets. And they were not $29.47. They have the ground beef. Some empty spaces here and there. Um, these tubes right here are $12.97, the bigger ones, and that's three pounds for $12.97, five pounds for $18.94, and 10 pounds for $32.84. Even the prices of their stew beef is two pounds for $14.24. Also, I've been seeing a lot of videos where people are now using neck bones in place of oxtails because oxtails cost so much now. These are three fourteen a pound, nine dollars and seventy cents for this pack here, ten ninety nine for that pack there. I love neck bones, especially in stew, any kind of soup, having that meat in there. Y'all see the empty spaces in here, y'all. This is the chicken. Two ninety seven a pound. 342 a pound for the ground chicken. They got these I think a dollar seventy-four pound. Yeah. Drum this drums, wings, and thighs. The turkeys are starting to come in. We have this Genio's turkeys here. They have these turkeys for 98, no, that's a different turkey for 98 cents. What is it? One eighty-eight a pound for the Jenny O's. Although they do have 98 cents up there, but it, I don't think it's Jenny O's, it's something else. Oh, those are for hens, but they don't have those in here. Then these over here, the butter balls, these are a dollar and 28 cent a pound. And these say, I guess these are more organic, no antibiotics. And these are a dollar 98 a pound. 
and then they also have some over here. Now the turkey, not the turkeys, but the hams. Uh, when I came here the other day, they had more in here than this. So people are starting to buy their holiday meals now. These are $2.48 a pound, no matter which one you're getting, whether it's the honey cured, which I love the honey cured one. Um, this is the smoke one. I do want a honey cured one because I think I used my last one. I'm gonna have to check my freezer before I buy it though, y'all. Walmart does not sell the wax cheeses. At least I haven't seen any in here. So if you want to get that wax cheese I was talking about that lasts longer outside the refrigerator, you would probably have to go to like a Publix or somewhere like that to get it. So with the butters, like I was saying, the salted butter lasts longer outside of the refrigerator as opposed to the unsalted, which um, you do most of your baking with unsalted right here. So these right here will last longer outside of the refrigerator. These are $3.98 a box. You get four sticks. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be buying eggs again because my chickens are starting to decrease their egg amount that they're giving me every day and weekly um, because the cold weather is coming in. So they do have the 60 count for $5.48. Y'all remember when they were like $31? just months ago and people are really getting their eggs because it's not a lot of eggs out here so when I said one person each would have to have a gallon of water a day so imagine if you were getting these right here over getting these right here or storing water in empty juice jars, um, whatever it is you can store water in to save you some money. And this has nothing to do with <laughs> anything, but yeah, these are my favorite. Any kind of crispy cookie with made with butter, um, I love it. Don't forget to add your cleaning supplies. I know I didn't say it, I did put the little sticker in there, but your cleaning supplies, your, your bleach and stuff like that. So all the bleaches are over here. If you go to the Dollar Tree to get bleach, I'm gonna warn you against that. Just because my sister did that um, in 2020 and she had new appliances and that bleach messed up her appliance, just saying. Things to wash your dishes with, etc. Now this right here is the bee's knees. It doesn't matter the fragrance, as long as it's like the power wash, gets anything off. And you can use it on more than just your dishes. You can clean stains on your floor, your carpet, your furniture, whatever. Again, toilet paper, paper towel, it's good to have enough in your home, but you don't have to overdo it. Hey, this right here will have my husband content, okay? The cookie monster, that's what I call him. But adding popcorn to your stockpile, I didn't say that, but adding popcorn is a great benefit. Um, the best popcorn to add though, is not the easy one. And that's throwing it in the microwave because what if you don't have that power station to use? What if you lose your power? Here we go. Popcorn. I just bought some more of those just the other day and having a way to pop it. Now here is something, I think that's for the microwave. So you have these, they still sell these. They still sell these. But having a way to pop that popcorn and you don't have to have a popcorn popper. You can put a little bit of oil in a pot 
put your kernels in there, put a lid on it and just shake it. So I think y'all, I'm gonna go over here after I leave this last owl with the canned meats and all of that and show you some stuff in the um, camping section that you can do your stockpile. Again, you have canned sauces, you got cheese right here that you can leave out, um, Alfredo sauce, pasta sauce, you know, the spaghetti sauce, and then you have your noodles right here, which they have a lot of empty spaces on here, but you can still buy these cheap. Like, these are budget-friendly preps, 98 cents. This is two pounds, so it's $1.88. But if they had any of the one pounds, they're under a dollar, okay? The Dollar Tree, this beats the Dollar Tree right here. Now they do have the half limp spaghetti like this for 98 cents. So your canned meats and stuff, salmon, tuna, they even have roast beef and stuff like that in cans in here. I actually did a video showing me cook this right here and it cooks better when you mix eggs in with it it, it tastes really good you guys so remember the baby food shortage that we had what does that look like to y'all nobody's talking about it though but it's always like this in here I think we need to ask ourselves if we had to go out and get our own food, whether it's fish or honey, could we do it? Or are we relying? Are we just relying on the supermarket for our foods?
have two things I want to see how much they come up to. One to take my notes on and then to print some stuff out. Okay. Stay here. 